We are currently living in a timeline where almost every toy property from the 80s and now 90s is getting made or remade, remastered. And that brings me to today's topic, Biker Mice from Mars. I had no plans on getting this figure. I didn't even really watch the cartoon when I was younger. Um, I will get into that. I will get into why I got it and where I got it and why that's kind of unique. We'll get into all that today on Toy Games. Toy Games! Yes! You and me, baby! Toy Games! I can't take it anymore! It's Toy Games! Here's the box. While we talk about the box, I may as well get into this story. So I saw these at FYE, where the prices are like in the future. And this is like $45 at FIE. No thanks. Don't need them. Was curious about this Nacelle company who makes all kind of things. They're bringing back RoboForce and they're bringing back Sectors. So I wanted to see the quality, the articulation, what they feel like in hand. And I looked up Nacelle company and they got their hands in a lot of things. They make uh, stories and movies for Netflix. It, I, I, I think very strange they have some money um and that brings me to where i got it a friend uh Cabido, told me that these were at walmart for 30 bucks so for a niche um property and, and if you're a super fan of mike biker mice from mars no problem with it i mean why would i i'm just saying this there's i can't imagine there's a ton of people clamoring for for biker mice from mars i know when it came out in like 1993 94 I was playing Super Nintendo and trying to get with girls. Toys, 90s toys were very weird to me. G.I. Joe got weird with like Echo, Echo Warriors and Big Jack G.I. Joe. I didn't care about like Captain Planet. I didn't care about Pokemon that much or Power Rangers. So, Biker Mike's from Mars, to me, was a Ninja Turtle ripoff. But it's not, I mean, there's so many different anamorphic people and creatures so now as an adult i don't see it as a ripoff i just recently watched a cartoon it wasn't too bad the box is okay but 30 bucks it looks like you get a lot of stuff let me stop yammering let's get to the toy itself cool. yeah throttle vinnie moto biker mice on battle bikes with the firepower to stop the evil plutarchians Catch this, Carbuncle! Gets him every time. Step his way, Exasius Vermin! No way, Fish Face! <laughs> grease pedal, grease them! Grease this! Whoa! Time to rock and ride! Biker Mice from Mars, bikes and figures, each sold separate. So, Ninja Turtles in the 80s, I understand. You had Karate Kid, a shit ton of action movies, Snake Eyes, Storm Shadow, Ninjas Made Sense sense ninjas made sense okay so kids wanted to be ninjas eastman and laird were, were, were messing around and, and trying to come up with something cool when they uh, you know messing around with each other they birthed the ninja turtle kids immediately fell in love a biker mouse I, i'm a, i'm not seeing where a kid you know kids like motorcycles i see that um this guy kind of has like a uh Police Academy, uh, Blue Oyster, Village People vibe, if you know what I mean. He also kind of looks like he could roll with the Dreadnoughts, uh, like Torch. It's a neat look. The bummer, the gun is... Molded in, sculpted, and holstered. The other bummer, I'm not a fan. I'm getting Toy Biz vibes from this, like, it looks like a ball. It looks like a sculpted ball joint with a thigh swivel. It, it does the job, and this is like a, you know, it's like a cartoon toy. It feels like a Super 7 figure with a little more articulation uh, if I'm being honest, and not, that's not a bad thing. I don't think Super 7 is is junk. I just think it's overpriced. And I know price point, for me, is king for some people. Obviously, it's not. I, I Here's one of them things, man. 
I say this all the time. I get a figure and I hope that I like it and you start manipulating it and I like it even more. I think that looks cool. Little dopey. Is it a dopey little toy? Yes. Is it a beloved franchise? I don't know. I know people do want... I, I heard it's getting rebooting or, or rebooted or has for a fourth season. Um, people want it on Blu-ray. You could readily watch the cartoon on YouTube. It's not a bad watch. You know, the 90s had some weird... The 80s had some weird things with commercialism in toys. The 90s had some weird thing where they had to teach kids about enviro, environmentalism or something. So there's that kind of theme going on. He has good posability. Ball, uh, bicep swivel, double jointed, although it's kind of tight, double jointed legs. Uh, the nacelle company, they are going to make vehicles for this guy. They're going to make their bikes, which is very important, hopefully. I don't know if they sell or if they don't sell. But for, for nacelle to get this niche toy line at your Walmart for $30 is an accomplishment in itself because we've heard... Other companies say, hey, we're not going to make that many of them. These won't be on, on shelves. This is why it has to be that price point. Well, you could do it. Somehow this company did it. Maybe they have some like backdoor deals because they do stuff with film and books and movies. I don't know. All I know is for something this small that isn't that popular to be at Walmart for 30 bucks is an accomplishment. Is it a good toy? Uh, think... As I mess with it, think think uh, late Toy Biz, Super 7, Marvel Legend, and that's the way it feels, and that's pretty good. This is on a ball that keeps popping out, but I assume it pops out maybe to sit on the bikes that come out. Would have been cool if it was a bendy wire. It's not. And I, that has to be why that comes out so easy. This is a nice, you know, that all three of them are there. I, I had no intentions on getting all three, but I'm such a nut. And I do like the cyborg-y guy. Um, I think he was Ian Zierling. No. One of them was voiced by, oh, the Italian-y mouse was voiced by Ian Zierling, uh, Zierling of 90210 fame. Now, let's just get right into it. Articulation is good. Every, like, really good. Better than McFarlane. I would say it feels almost like a... Like I said, like, like, look at that. Look at that range. Like, Mafex with, but with thigh swivel. You get three heads now. You get a head to ride, ride on the motorcycle. You get a head with no expression. I took the sunglasses off. You get an extra pair of sun, not extra, but, I mean, they, they could have chinched out, though. They could have made you pop them gloves on this head. So, yes, you do get an extra pair. Of sunglasses. You get a hot dog. In the first episode, they kind of save this guy from like getting robbed. And that's what I like about older cartoons. They showed like the grimy side of the cities and streets. This is in Chicago. My one issue with like the newer cartoons, like Ninja Turtles back in 2012, they they never like showed crime other than like the foot clan. To see like a guy rob a hot dog vendor, it's real life, man. They didn't treat us like little babies, even though in the 90s, I was a little older. You get this gun that if you push this button, the pressure is going to pop that out and it's going to go flying. Nice wash on there. I don't need to do that feature. I'm not going to play with this. You get extra set of hands. I will have picks. 30 bucks to dive in and something quirky uh, on your toy shelf line is, is pretty cool. He's not going to break the wallet, and you get a lot of stuff. And like I said, there's nothing on the back. It would be cool to have some – maybe I'll put some a sticker on there. You know, to have – and the paint is done well. There's a tattoo there, some tribal, you know, the 90s, baby. A little bracelet. I, I like all the details. It, I always say this. When I start to mess with a figure, I like them more than when they were in the box. This is why I don't know how people are in-box collectors. Uh, like the expression. Yeah, this is goofy fun. I like it. I'll have some um, comparisons about how he sizes up with other figures, and I will have them on a bike at the end. Masterverse seven inch. Love this. Uh, love this figure. Where he has a good presence and paint. Seven inch figure, six inch figure. It kind of would be six and a half inches. So there's that. 
Good scale, not too big, not too small. That's what she said. I I like it. 30 bucks. If you want to buy something quirky, get it, get to your Walmart and buy a biker mice from Mars. And if you're curious about the cartoon, you know, if you're bored, you're in bed, pop on YouTube, give the cartoon a shot. It's really not that bad. And uh, let's get the bike. I forgot. Let's, I got a McFarland bike. Let's pop him on this bike and see how this, this guy looks on there. Look at that guy, huh? And like I said, this is a 7-inch bike. Not too bad. I hope the bikes get made. You can pre-order them. I hope it happens. Why not? Why not? Why not something, another goofy oddball toy out there in the world for us to have? I got Earthworm Jim now. I got a biker mice from Mars. I told you, listen, I told you 90s, 90s is going to get toys, and this is proof thereof. Does that make sense? Anyway, as always, take care, have fun, see you on the next vid. Woo! Like, comment, subscribe.